God bless you, God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our beloved Lord, to Him all the praise, to Him all the glory. I praise you, I praise Him, I praise Him. Right. Force of habit is stronger than knowledge. What is it mean? What is this means? <clears throat> Please stay with me. Very, very powerful message. What I received from the Lord. And it's not by accident. Please stay with me very, very, uh, and please share this message so many times. We all um, human and we all have force of habit in our lives. And I don't want to declare this as a prophecy, of course not. But we, if you come from the world, you have force of habits in your life. It, and it is not from God. That's what I mean. <laughs> I want to bring a balance in that is not an... Uh, <laughs> something uh, speaking wrong about your life right force of habit is stronger than knowledge and listen <clears throat> I mentioned uh, this uh, last uh, teachings a lot of times about the Lord is all on is or everywhere if you and it doesn't matter uh, I teach this on this day and later on maybe a month or two years later you listen this message the Lord is there and if you ask the Lord to intervene in your life in a certain way in a certain area then it's um, probably and uh, for sure I think so not an uh, accident you listen to this teaching the Lord can show you and listen the Holy Spirit this is very strong and I deliver you for maybe in your eyes very simplicity or very simple knowledge but the kingdom is simple and we need the intelligence of the Holy Spirit to bring things together and to get, uh, reveal things in our own lives what we don't can see <clears throat> Jesus say let me say the other words it is not about our intelligence first of all we can see the unseen we can see the spirits movements and maybe you are can see but you don't see everything you don't know everything and the Lord knows this is my point you need the intervention you need the intelligence the wisdom from God and you need the simplicity in knowledge so you can understand it if it's not simple if I teach and share a lot of words but in these words are simplicity ha hidden maybe for you if you are let me show you and I don't want to offend you but there are if you are maybe you're listening you are, are proud then some things are hidden for you why you're proud if you are proud and, and people they are proud they are thinking by themselves i'm good and that make them complicated and they can't see the simplicity and do, they don't like the simplicity why they are proud they are good they know it for themselves they know other bible verses better than me okay that's nice let <laughs> god bless you what i mean is this you need the intervention and we don't need our or intelligence or mind yes we need it but I I think so you may I have make a point and also Jesus say come like the children that means in simplicity and not in all kinds of smart intelligence and very why 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 kabraki kabukum by the head oh Jesus right in proud if you're proud and you like to be proud you like to be better other person that is proud then you are have a force of habit in your life right 
Please stay with me. It's too special teaching already. Right, I want to read from Job. Let me say it other way. I want to give you more balance and more foundation before I begin. I won't bring the word in. The Lord is speaking. I believe so. For sp uh, uh, certain persons, one day they listen to this to, uh, teaching, and I know how the Lord can move. And if you don't pay attention to what the Lord speaks to you, you missing it. The Lord can speak to you and, and bring your remembrance in that you don't understand. You think by yourself, why? Why is the Lord bringing this in? Why? And if you are in this why, you are offending the Lord with, or you are angry or you, get, you have annoyance at what the Lord for maybe for example my teaching you already you want to like to step out that's your choice but you have annoyance against me then means there is something working in you it's it's working against me and also against you i think so i think so and i i speak <laughs> i speak not for myself i don't <laughs> i don't bring, bring myself and i know where i'm coming from i know where i'm going to com coming to going to and the Lord can use what I, I want to teach you and deliver you. The Lord can teach you and to use my voice to give you annoyance. And the annoyance give, uh, give a sign. And if you allow, allow the Lord to, um, to work it out in you, then the Lord can direct you to a point in your life. So if he can show you something, a force of habit, that you are always have an irritation against certain persons and maybe you're a woman you always have an irritation against men we, who always speak a lot and you and you like uh, silence men now silence men is boring from for my for myself but you know what I mean now I hope so that Lord will give you understanding Yes, I want to bring you bring scriptures in. Yes. I want to bring this scripture in. And this this teaching is built up from many layers and I was looking for what the Lord will bring in for they are a nation void of counsel neither is there any understanding in them oh that they were wise that they understood this that they would consider their later ends that's Deuteronomy the book of Moses chapter 32 22 verse 28 29 they are void of counsel and other translations say this that they are lost by their own uh, counsel their own direction why there is no understanding there is no mind in them understanding comes from a mind is a fruit from wisdom and a mind understanding and oh, and oh that they are wise that they understood this they lost sing a force of habit is a um, protocol is um, something that don't house so I am um, a force of habit is I already is that you are void of counsel it's an, in a way 
that you are a force of habit is that you it is a way of doing that you don't see it anymore it's hiding for you i was surprised about my own life that there are some things in life can reveal only in the lord give me a lot of pressure in certain situations and they show something up but i was surprised but i don't see it for a long time don't i don't see it for a long time And if you don't be corrected, eh, what we read in Deuteronomy, if you don't be a void of counsel, if you don't be like corrected, then this force of habit is not showing up in your life. Maybe, let me say in this way, there are a lot of points in your life that you are using in this life and it gives you the confidence and the strength, the strength to do things. That's a force of habit. And it's stronger than knowledge. That means this force of habit is a way of doing that the knowledge of the Lord is not strong enough to correct you. You must allow, and that's what I mean. The flesh is contrary to the spirit speaks Galatians 5 verse 17 that means that there is something working in your flesh against the spirit it's a force of habit the force of habit is that it's 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 you receive it in a certain situation to survive a situation and now you are growing up and this is staying and don't leaving in you but you use it in a situation it's no longer necessary but you don't see it anymore and if you bring the word of god in your life you will see it will show up if you yield on the holy spirit listen force of habit is stronger than knowledge why it is an empowerment the force of habit is an empowerment it is a way of thinking empowered by uh, most of by most of time by pain and discouragement and it gave you an, an a reason to do so certain things to do it not and to react it and it give you comfort and it gives you um, a shelter I want to read John, <laughs> I already mentioned. And by pain and disappointment, it's showing up and you don't see it. It's an automatic. It's invisible for you. And it is a blanket what you're covering, give you covering. Listen what Job say. My soul is weary of my life. I will leave I will leave my complaining of myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. It's a decision from Job to do this, to have this, to use a blanket, to use a covering from his bitterness, from his pain. I will say, listen, I will say unto my God, do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou contentest with me. He, 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 he like an explanation from God, but you can not go to God and to receive an, 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 an explanation and to bring your pain and your bitterness and all kinds of things bring to God. Yes, you can do it. You can ask it, but if you are complaining and you will protect yourself with your pain and your disappointment, that's a, that can be a force of habit. And if you are in a season in you 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 go in in a relationship and they they this 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 you they you, you are very hurt you receive certain um, you build something up in this relationship and you use it again in your next relationship and it is maybe a very nice woman or a very nice man 
but you don't know it why you are operating from force habits and I, I want to bring bring this together with the other word and then make it very clear and then you will surprisingly it's very key what what jobs say it's a job 10 first one two and three It's very awesome what 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 this uh, chapter cheats. He doubts God. He doubts God. From did you see my pain? Did you see my suffering? Yes, of course. See God. All things God seeing. And you go. You you can not go to God with offense of that he that you offend him. Think about David, he go to God in his brokenness. David go, go, is going to God, him, Psalms. He break himself for God. And God don't despise a broken spirit, a broken broken person. He don't despise, he, he draw him to himself to re, to re, and, and, and David uh, had since he have, have began a very he doing a very big sin by reason that you have a strong habit you are stepping in a fleshy way of thinking against God and doesn't work out for you and listen this this my key for this teaching And there is more to point out, there is too much to, to share, but I want to round up. Listen. This force of habit is built up from knowledge, from a certain situation, maybe from a relationship, you receive by the certain uh, things what ha are happening in this relationship you, you receive pain this pain is also knowledge in your heart by with 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 emotions and it gives you the reason to make a this uh, uh, and, and you make a decision by this to do it in an other way and if you don't build this up from the Word of God and you offend God, so as job, so as job doing in chapter 10, then you have a force habit. You're making yourself strong in a certain way against your new spouse, against God. And that means this. And then you can make it more. I will, I put, I put, the Lord give me this. It just sounds very simple. It is simple. <laughs> the, the simple things of God are simple. But to, to do it and to receive it and to see it in your own life is not always easy and too simple. This force of habit is a stronghold. And this stronghold, this force of habit can use by spirits to enter and to use it and to speak to and to influence you. Why it is not from God? It's fleshly. Listen, and this place, this strong habit, this stronghold is always built up from knowledge and from emotion. It's kept in place at secure and place and to and it's 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 if you don't see this you can't remove it, you can break it down, and it's it's holding in place in your mind, in your thinking, and this place cannot spirit move. Why? The flesh is contrary to the spirit, Galatians 5 verse 17. And if this place are is captive, is, is captive uh, by wrong and painful information, and you want you won't give this up. So Job say my complaint is up up me, my grieving, my bitterness is up me, I don't want to let it go, then this place is 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 possessed by this, and you can't 
you can't receive something from God in this place, what is very important. And I want to read a scripture and then I want to round up. It's too powerful. And it's maybe for you, you think by yourself, why are you talking about? It's too awesome, this teaching. I want to, uh, let me, let me, what is, what is, what is happening maybe in your reading? If you don't know this force of habit is, it's raining in you, it's, 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 it's possessing you in a certain way and you can't see, then let me read, let me read and, and give you an example. From Genesis 24, 30. And it came to pass when he saw the earring and the bracelet upon his sisters. That speaks about the brother from Rebecca. Sister. And when he hear the words of Rebecca's sister saying, This speak the man who unto me, that he came unto the man, and behold, he stood by the camels at the well. And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord. Wherefore standest thou with, without? For I have prepared a house and room for the camels. Listen, this sounds maybe for you too simple, but it this is how it works. And I received this message from the Lord to share with you. No matter what, what you're thinking. <laughs> and if you reject it, it's already showing something, right? Listen, in this scripture is an invitation. And the Lord say, and I speak to you, you are blessed. You are listening so long, you are blessed. The Lord will bless you. But if you are rejected many times in your life, then you build up a resistance in your life. And by reading, you can't understand it. Why? You can don't you can't translate it why you make in the past you have make a decision and if somebody is saying this scripture the Lord Jesus say in is inviting you come in the house is repaired the room for you and the camels and all what you have come in then you can't you can read it why this place in your mind is possessed by knowledge with pain by a force of habit, by a stronghold, and can receive this knowledge. Why? It's rejected. A stronghold is always to have to fight with something new. Right? Right. That the Lord will give you understanding and bless you and keep you. And please share, share, share so many times if you can. Thanks for listening and bless you.